60 bucks for all this you uh, well, welcome back to New Sakura Wars! We did it, we completed a simple mission! With the help of the other combat review, but hey, who's counting? You know, we'll take a victory when we get one. Yeah, but I did all the work! Yeah, let's give her a medal for everything she did in the last chapter. Just, who cares about anybody else? Here's a wooden spoon for you, Sakura. Yeah. Well, it's clear who the head bitch in this place is. HBIC! Well, thanks for trying, at least. <laughs> you get a gold star on the fridge! But we forget one thing. We're still broke. We are still flat broke. In fact, we're even more broke. We're in the red! Why do you have to remind us about the real world? Can't we just have some champers and just go to bed happy? You know, if Claris turns out to be the rich girl in our group of anime misfits, I wouldn't be surprised. So we have literally no more money. Because of that, because of our shiny brand new top of the line mech, we are in some pretty hefty debt now. We can't pay wages, we can't pay for electricity or anything, we can't pay for food. I don't know, that seems like grounds for shutting down right away. How did we even get off the ground, and how has this been so poorly mismanaged thus far? I don't know! Like, how on earth does that happen? Sumire, what have you been doing before I got what? here? Yeah, what have you been doing, Kaudu? Don't put this squarely on my shoulders! But hey, I got an idea, let's put on a show! An actual decent one, with blackjack that's the, and hookers! That's the best way that we can bring in people and get in, get in some money. You got a better idea? Let's go sell some of your books! Oh, what's this? A first issued printing of the Canterbury Tales? That'll get us some cash. That could buy us two new theaters. Oh, the color purple, still in the collective wrapping. Ooh. I don't even think that book's been written at this point. No, it hasn't. But with all the other anachronisms, what's one more? So it's time for our fifth, well, really, fourth character. Anastasia Palma. There's always a character where the creator always puts his sexual fantasies into. High heels, well-stacked, tight pants, hell yeah. It's like she stapled an afghan to her torso. That's what I was thinking too. And like, what's with this part in the front here? So that her boobs are sticking out of the side. Like, look, look at everybody else. They're decently dressed. She's world famous, yeah. We, we call it the adult industry. Does our character fall into that chest at one point? Please say no. I don't think so. Oh, thank Christ. But I'm pretty sure you can tell everything you can tell about this character. Well, about like 95% of her. Hi, I'm the eye candy. As opposed to the other one who is also doing the same thing I am. So you remember when they they gave they gave me crap because I suggested that we get professional help? Mm hmm Introducing our professional help. Hooray, I did a good. They give me crap, but hey, we hired somebody new on it. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Well, thank God we defended this place from the demons, otherwise she'd have nothing to go on. She will be the star member of the Flower Division. Oh, she can act, she can fight. What's not to love about Anastasia? Stop moving. 
Well, okay. Great. I hope that you will be a good member of the team. Do all, do all these characters have restless leg syndrome? Why do they keep moving? Yeah, they are really animated. It's like we're on a ship. And here's another new member, kind of. What's up? Name's Striker Z. Nice to meet you. Aw, an old friend. Old friend from the Academy. Sejiro seems to know everything about him, but we, the player, don't really know much, so I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what kind of tone they want me to take with him. Reiji is go he's gonna be our maintenance guy. Our, ah. our, our bots are borked. And he's gonna unbork him. Hooray, an unborker! So, okay, competing, lifelong rival. Right? Yeah, okay. So, maybe I can be a little playful here. <laughs> More like a pain in my ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So then he fucking tears him a new one! That's a big old middle finger to your good friend there, buddy. Wow, he doubled down on it. I can't tell the tone! I mean, how did you read that? I, I read it as sarcastic. But no, he was totally sincere! Like, is that how I have to look at these? As absolutely sincere without any type of joking or whatever? Hmm, I guess we're just, you know, playing it straight. Alright, so we've added two new people to our combat review. One man to unbork the machines, and one woman that everyone wants to pork. So we couldn't do anything when we had a little bit of money, but now we have even less than no money, and so here's two new people to not pay. Or feed. I hope you guys accept IOUs for the next three months. Oh, hey, hey, oh, right, you know, right. <coughs> yeah. Nah, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Look at that. I love that reflection in the in the floor. It's pretty. Hey, like, wait. This looks like this looks like the shiniest, waxiest floor in history. Are you can those... hold the ice capades on this floor. Are those customers? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, this is this is a dining hall. Wait, he's cooking the food! Exactly. So, uh, the map has expanded a little bit, but mm -hmm. we're not leaving it today. We're still here in the theater. But Sumire has one more idea to help us get a little bit more money in the bank. A little bit more, uh, glutes in the seats bit more people to start talking more about the Grand Imperial Theater as not just a comedy club. Here you go, Kamiyama. Here's your feather boa. It's time for you to start line dancing. You get a promotion. A, pro a, promo a, promo a promotion. A promotion. A promotion. Cool. We are now. We are now head of PR. So we're no longer the janitor. We're in charge of PR. Yes, I mean, we're still captain of the combat review, but when it comes to the Imperial Theater, we are now head of PR. Oh, cool. Thanks for the upgrade. I hope it comes with a raise in pay that you can't pay me. Crisis is putting it lightly. We're in the middle of an absolute apocalyptic financial crisis. I mean, we'd probably gain money if we set this fucker on fire. Yeah, you have insurance, don't you? Come on, we can pull a little Al Capone here. Why are you sweating? <laughs> <laughs> Insurance costs money! So we need a strong publicity campaign to hype people up and get the butts in the seats. Get the butts in the seats! Glutes and chairs. We gotta put the butts in seats to save the world. 
And that's pretty sad. You know, if these guys do get through their financial crisis, they can take on anything. Well, you remember back in Sakura Wars 5 when we were going to do a new uh, the new show, there was like drama between characters. Mm -hmm. There was still some unresolved tension between some of the some of the folks there. You know, something was bothering them. But nope, it's just we're fucking broke. We're useless. We're terrible. So we have this but we have this button here, right? Oh, it's the history eraser button. Don't push it. So you take this, you go stand on that little pedestal over there. This is going to help with publicity somehow. Alright, time for this thing to magically remove all my clothing till I'm down to my skivvies and then take a picture for a calendar. So just stand right here. Take out the button and... Time to erase history. Oh, okay. Push the button! Every good location has to have a mascot. So are we the captain of the punching bag? So, you're probably asking, how the hell can they afford this elaborate kind of mechanism and have less than no money? Well, that's because this wasn't made by the combat review. Sumire has her own company. Kanzaki Heavy Industries. So I'm thinking, why didn't you siphon like why didn't you siphon some funds in there? Like they're investing in the theater, perhaps. But hey. <laughs> I'll do it. Whatever. I'm not gonna question at this point. Besides, let's be honest, the only girl I need to keep happy is my boss. I really hope our next promotion is like, you know, Waterboy. Maybe the guy that cleans up trash. We gotta make sure that we never break kayfabe, though, when we're in this mascot costume. So that's but, gonna be an occasional thing that happens. We're gonna find a pedestal. We're gonna become an elephant. We're gonna promote the theater, and high jinks will ensue. Oh my god, that is actually a thing. Gotta admire the technology. Mm. How the fuck did we afford it? Is what I was first thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much money do you have? You didn't put any into your theater? I should have made more mook instead of fucking... My dad put me in charge of the Imperial Combat Review and said, Hey, you have a year to fully turn this place around and I'm not doing a great job. Well, she can't admit her problems. Well, I mean, we shouldn't have a boss with intrigue or, you know, stuff that's wrong with her. Otherwise, she'd be a bad boss. So there's a, there's a, pla there's a platform on the lobby that we can try out our new toy. But again, whatever. She's my boss. I gotta do it. Yes, ma'am. I will gladly be your bitch. Because whether, the, whether these five girls let me into their rooms to do the hanky-panky or whatever, I don't give a shit about. But she could fire me if she doesn't like me. So, I'm gonna do what, I'm gonna do what my manager says, yeah? Okay. I guess. I'll fit in great in Japanese culture. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so everyone's there. 
so for basically the rest of the episode, we're gonna go through all the little blips on there. Let's do the blue and then the green. What's up, Hatsuho? I really hope we can give these girls, like, special nicknames in-game. Like, we become more friendly with them, so, you know, you give them special nicknames like, Yo, what's up, ho? No, we're captain. We have to call them by their name. Yo, what's up, Hatsuho bag? We, we gotta, we gotta, we... we... We gotta keep up appearances. We got we gotta be professional about all this. What's up, otherwise, bitches? Time to get into the they'll mix. never respect us. They don't respect us now, and they never will. Have you seen our guy? Duh, of course. D d disagree with her. I'm pretty sure she'll like that. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I gotta, I gotta believe in them, even though I'll be basically doing everything. You still gotta believe in them. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's fine. Well, you just, just keep on keeping on there, Hatsuho. That's my ho, that's my girl. You're still my favorite because you're not terrible. So, uh, what we should have done earlier in the chapter was look around. That's how we, quote-unquote, failed that last, uh, that oh. last side quest. So, uh, this is the dressing room. The 13 Sentinels of the Flower Division. The 13 Rim. Ghosts of the Flower Division. And Vincent Price shows up behind you. Ah! Vincent, please! I'm trying to read about the 13 f 13 flowers. So it's just like the bath from earlier. You fucking This is kidding? the girls only dressing room, so we got to get out. We got to get out. Leave, 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 leave. We're doing this again? At this time soccer is coming in. Oh no. It's a good yow, thing. Yow, yow. <sighs> Why wouldn't you just leave? Oh, yeah, she totally won't find you there, out in plain sight behind a table. Or you could, you know, use your testicles and be like, Oh, hi, Sakura. Sorry, I was looking around and I got lost. This is the dressing room? I shouldn't be here then. Haha. <laughs> All right, I'll be on my way out. But no, we gotta have a scene where, Oh, she's gonna towel herself up because she's covered in stinky sweat like a smelly bitch! So what are we gonna do now? Whoa! Wow! 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 We could look, but... Well, hell no! You know, it's probably good that you're playing and not me, because I totally would have done that just to get in trouble. I'm going to try and be a decent person here and show you how much the game shits on me for it. You need to be a degenerate weeb. Peek on all the scantily clad underage anime girls. I'm not going to lose it. my morals. Do it. I'm just waiting for the hot spring to show up. Well, fortunately, she leaves without seeing us. You're an idiot, Kamiyama. Why aren't I, I, I could feel your resolve while I was peeping on you. Why aren't there signs in front of the door saying what they are? I mean, a man is here now. It's not very common. We got two men here now. Well, I guess it's time to update some signs. Yeah, I think it's time to have some ground rules. Come on, Sumire. I mean, you're you're lucky that I have some decency. You're lucky I'm not a horn dog who's gonna try and you know fondle these girls every chance I get. <laughs> oh dear. So as this is a new chapter. There are new bromides to collect, uh, both, both yeah. from the store and lying around. So check this. It's cool. We got a new member for the team, but we got to get new merch. 
We gotta cash it in somehow. You gotta get more cash flow. That's what they're for. So, uh, hey, I got an idea. How about a poster? That's simple. That's cheap. That's mm -hmm. easy. You know, good, good cost effective for it. It's like, oh yeah, Anastasia's got big boobies, so yeah, everyone's gonna buy those, but nah! It's like, fine, go the fuck out of business, see if I care. Is this theater an example of a self-fulfilling prophecy? I don't know. Ha, huh, I'll think of something. Well, I'm not giving up yet. The posters! God, I would love it if the next chapter had fully fledged posters and they were selling like hotcakes and she was like, man, I'm glad I thought of this. Ugh. All right, what, what should we get now? Uh, two new... Let's Sakura. Get the Sakura. Yeah, let's get the Sakura. Sakura. Let's get the Sakura, Sakura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking fine. Hello? Can everyone hear me all right? I wish I didn't. Is anyone else weirded out by the fact that we're selling pictures of our actresses for money? Well, they're actresses. I mean, how, how else are you going to make money? Well, that's a good point. But it just seems like they're doing, like, candid camera things. Like, they you're don't even fuck, know the You're a fucking there. idol lover. Well, how do, they, how do they make money, huh? CDs. Music. CDs. Tours. Tours? That costs money. Well, okay. I mean, they, they can't even do shit in their own theater. You want to take these girls on the road? Are you mad? <laughs> so, okay. minor oh, side God. quest time. Timed missions. There's a no. missing girl. You gotta go find her. Oh, no. she, where is she? Uh-huh. At least the game lets me know when I'm going too far, so I'm not running around with my head chopped off. So I figured I'd check the lower floor first. So mm -hmm. now she's not there. Let's try the top one. Was that her right there with the exclamation There she board? is. Oh, that was easy. Hatsuha's already found her. See, another, another point for Hatsuho. Oh. Sakura is too busy, you know, preening herself in the mirror, saying, I am, I am Sakura, I'm a Mia, I'm the star of the Imperial Combat Review, look at me. Clarus is probably in her room, fucking reading in a trance. And what's Hatsuho doing? Helping her fellow man! Except it looked like she was about to deck this kid. Nah, she was just playing with her. They were play they were they were acting. Cause you know, she plays the ogre in that story, so she's like, Well, you know, oh, I'm gonna ah. beat you. No, you won't, I'm gonna defeat you. So yeah, yeah. So she's good with kids! You got that! Yeah. God, this is checking all my boxes. Hell yeah. Like Hatsuho, she's like the only decent character so far. Now, please don't abandon your kids. Otherwise, we'd have to give them a baked bean. God, you've been gone for six hours. What have you been doing? Trying to work a can opener? I've been teaching her. <coughs> mm-hmm. Because that's what good parents do. I, I can see that. I figured I'd have to, you know, find some crying, screaming brat, but you yeah, calmed her down pretty good. God. Redhead. Good with kids. Actress. Mm-hmm. Could probably kick your ass. Oh, uh, even better. Alright, bye. Peace out, call me. Another good thing about Hatsuho, she's not on my dick every 25 seconds like Sakura is. Now, you need to say it with a bit more inflection. Anastasia. Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia Palma. Anastasia. Benissimo. Read it like Christopher Lloyd's trying to kill you. Like he's trying to kill me? 
Ah! Anastasia! Ah! <laughs> Specifically, if a Rasputin being voiced by Christopher Lloyd is trying to kill you, there's the pronunciation. You know what my favorite Christopher Lloyd part is? No, what Uncle is it? Uncle Fester. You know, I've been meaning to watch that. You know, funnily enough, I, I'm a huge fan of the Addams Family, and I just realized it a, a few weeks ago. It's like, I used to watch the cartoon as a kid, and I liked it. I fucking love the Barry Sonnenfeld films. I have opinions about the new Addams Family. I, I think I'm a fan! When oh did this my happen? god! Addams Family Values is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I, it's just... Wow, I love this film. Isn't that the one with Pubert Adams? Yes. <laughs> My one bit of Adam's family trivia, used to good use. Wait, is she talking about sp the specific bromides you have? We found a super rare one. I think she's going on about that. Oh, okay. That American pitering spirit. Too bad they're dead. Man, this soundtrack is just going hog right now. The Usher Crusher? Dude! <laughs> oh, you didn't that hear? Is... I'm he oh, you didn't hear? I'm head of PR now. That is, like, the best nickname. It's like, um, oh, yes, here, your seat is, um, is seat A, row four! And then you do, like, a body slam. The Usher Crusher! Please just call me Kamiyama. Girl, you look like one of the victims from Corpse Party. You're not living to the end of this game. All right, what do we got left? Uh, we got Ooh. one more thing on the top floor, if I see that right. I thought we did. I thought you wanted to talk to Claris, the best character so far. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Gotta do a bit of PR. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how this will work because they're already... Uh, if the platform is in the theater, then they're already here. Shouldn't I be outside the theater to promote the theater? Yeah, whatever. I'm an elephant! Have you ever been in a mascot costume? No, but I, I hear they are sweaty and gross. It's misery. When were you a mascot? I worked as a lifeguard once in high school. Oh. The water park had a mascot and I was in there once. They never asked me to do it again. I wasn't animated enough, I guess. By the way, this is our this is our last girl. Oh, I was hoping we'd have a lolly character. Yay. See, I was thinking she'd be more like Subaru. Yeah, you know me, I fucking love Subaru. Mm, nope. But there's two problems here. One, she's way too young. Two, she's got way too many frills, man. Wait, she's like a maid ninja. And it's the most fetish thing ever. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Oh, God, she's the ninja? Yes. Oh, uh, that's pretty great. She's like in an alternate reality Kingdom Hearts where instead of zippers, you have frills. Uh, it's just... She's about to push a button that might break kayfabe for us. We gotta do something. What do we gotta do? What are we gonna do? Push it ourselves. Time to advertise because we're head of PR! Situation diffused. I think that was the sonic jumping sound effect. Yes, it was. Oh, God. That's from Sonic Adventure, isn't it? I think Adventure all the way to Forces. Woo! Certainly the Hedgehog Engine games. 
Wow. Well, one last thing to do. Well, a couple more things. First, let's uh, get some bromides, and then we'll head down and see Reiji. All right, show me the cute pictures. Okay, first one is... Uh, let's see. So there's a whole scene we can do with Sakura, though. That might not be until a bit later. I'll give a knock-knock on the door, see what we can do. Like, this bromide only shows up when we do this whole scene with her, because we haven't done everything yet. But I think that doesn't come until a bit later. I would love it if Kamiyama was just a terrible liar. So she's like, oh, this is the first time I've seen you today. And it's like, no, not me. I've seen you in the dressing room. <clears throat> anyway. Hey, you're not sweaty anymore. I mean, uh... <laughs> I borrowed your sweaty clothes, but not for that. I mean, yes, it was, but... Uh, fuck! So, first one here is in the accounting room. Dad, oh, there, there it is. There it is. Turn around. There it is. Turn around. There it is. It's right there. Oop, there it is. Can you see it? Oop, Turn around. It it's right Oop, there. there Minimaps in the white. Come on! Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh. There you go. Yeah, it's a smart boy. There you go. It's Coquelicot! Okay. The only character from 4, I bet you. Cool. 3 or 4. I forget which one takes place in Paris. And, uh... Go to the control room for the next one. Wait, was that a fast travel? Yeah, it's the elevator. Yeah, but it took you straight to the bath. No, it did. What do, you, what do you mean? It had the option of taking you to the bath. Here's Iris. Oh, hi. Yeah, there are there are several floors. So I okay. got plenty of all that, yeah. Still got a lot to go. So now we go to the hangar. Let's take a look at the damage. Yo, what's up, fucker? How's my mech doing? All right, I brought you in so that way you can work your magic on these things. So we just basically ruined our entire friendship with him, right? Yeah, we're kind of meh on friends, I guess. So the spirit crystals in them are shot. They're completely trashed. What? So only Sakura's, which got a whole bunch of damage, is still workable, but Hatsuho's and Claris's are just scrap metal. But what are you going to fix up good as new? I just got surface level damage on mine, so that shouldn't be that hard to fix, but the, the, but the, the other two are just... I don't, I don't understand what you're saying! Like, spell it out for me! We only have two working mechs, the other two are scrap metal? That's bad! That's really bad! It just seems to get worse and worse every time we talk about anything. It doesn't need to, though! Why do they need to be scrap metal? I don't understand! Uh... Ugh... Well, it does it for this section of the chapter, I guess. So next time on Soccer Wars, we're going to find ourselves a play to write, work on some dance, and hopefully put on a show for these people worth putting on. And get some cash flow into this place and become a real combat review for once. Will it work? Who knows? See you next time. God, just imagine these girls reenacting Sweeney Todd. Perfect. <laughs>